Hey guys, Jimbo Evan here, and today what I have for you is a Plunder Pirates base design. This is pretty much for Pirate Hall Level 1. Uh, this is the best possible base design that you can possibly make for Plunder Pirates. So, um, yeah, I'm going to explain to you after I've pretty much completed the build, um, how, like, how you, how it's defensive and everything, and how you win battles with it. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So what you gotta do, guys, is get your builder's hut put here. Get your other builder's hut, and pretty much put in the exact same space. So this is gonna be kind of like a replica in a way. How, uh, not like a replica, but pretty much like, uh, symmetry or whatever. Symmetrical, um, on how it looks in a way. So, after you put it there, then what you wanna do, guys, is grab your cannons, put one over here, and then put one over here. After that, guys, you wanna get your, pretty much your grub distillery right over here, and place it right over here. Uh, then get your other one and place it right over here. Uh, then you want to do is get your gold mine and place it right over here too. Uh, again, get your gold mine and place it over there too. Get your pretty much your gold storage, place it right over here. Then this storage and place it over here. Then get your pretty much tavern, place it right over there. And now you got your base design completed. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this base design, guys. Now I'm going to tell you about how this works. So as you guys can see, if you're looking at the cannons, you see that they cover pretty much the whole entire area, which is really good. Uh, on the corners, so when people send in troops to try to get these gold mines and everything, they may get a little bit of your gold, but then again, you did, pr you pretty much are saved in terms of getting the three star or even the two star, and sometimes even the one star. Uh, then what you have, guys, is usually when people send in their troops here, the chances are it's gonna hit either the tavern or your gold mine. It's not really gonna hit the gold storage on how it's placed back one, so it's protecting these. Also, guys, uh, like I said before with the cannons and the protection, uh, and then what happens is the majority of the players, when they want to send in pretty much their troops, they'll send it in here because they find this is the best place because they say all these other sides aren't good, this is the best place. And what will happen is they'll send it in here, and as you guys can see, the cannons are meant for pretty much to deal with that. As you, you can see, they're pretty much meant for this area here. And usually what's going to happen is pretty much the troops are going to go in and attack these, and both of the cannons are going to snipe them off at once. So what's going to happen is they're going to pretty much attack both the builders huts and they're just gonna get pummeled by these cannons and uh, pretty much the double cannon action you could say because on how how the area works and how they're just gonna wipe out their troops and what's gonna happen is there's gonna be no troops left to push on to uh, the pirate hole after they have destroyed this because they don't they will like probably maybe I'm, I'm guessing something there's a really low chance that they'll actually move to the cannons they'll go Usually after they destroy this, if they can, they'll go ahead and attack the pirate hall right over here. And after they attack the pirate hall, um, they won't have enough troops to pretty much uh, destroy it. So the cannons will pick them off, and then you'll have, uh, in some cases, even a victory from that, which will be pretty cool. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this uh, little, um, just simple, uh, what's it called, uh, pl plunger pirates, uh, pirate hall uh, base design for pretty much... Uh, for level uh for level one pirate hall uh and then also almost forgot guys your ship you can pretty much put it anywhere you can put it really far away if you want to it doesn't really matter uh whatever you want to do with it just leave it however you want um and yeah that is pretty much it guys like i said before if you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these little base designs and stuff like that make sure to smack that like button and if you really enjoyed this video guys make sure to hit the subscribe button make sure to check out my uh plunder pirates uh let's play series a uh, link to that will be in the description if you do want to check it out. And also, guys, make sure to apply to the Jimbo Oven Craft Network for a 70% revenue share. But that's going to be it, guys. This has been Jimbo Oven, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.